I said I'm going to sit back, I said I'm going to sit back, you might just go stay up there. I think the thing is we know what we do every week. One go to the middle, one go to the left, one go to the right. It's like there's no communication and then there's a movement being made and no one wants to pick that man up. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It doesn't even need to be complicated. Like Lam was saying last week, if you don't, if the man is there, like Brad and someone else is there, just pass him on. Just pass him on, it's really not that complicated. But you don't have to be stuck in, you have to be hungry. I'm seeing that guy get the ball there, no one's chasing him down. I'm seeing him pick him up here, no one's chasing him down. I'm seeing us move from defence to attack and there's no urgency. See what I'm trying to say? You can't get away with that. First off, we should be killing tools to make it easy for ourselves in the second half. We're only on the pitch for 10, 15 minutes in the first half. We should be working hard, killing this game, and then you can get your rest in the second half. All because, just because they're being lazy doesn't mean we should drop to our level. We have our own standard.
Oh, Alright, quick, right. quick one from me. <laughs> Let these men out now, fam. I, I can't lie. The one, the one time, um, boys, that second half was much better. We did control it all the way through, but I say this week in week out. Why do we not start like that? Outside. Starts from turning up late to when we're on the pitch. Are you focused? Are you ready? I mean, it shows in the performance. I get from Georgia. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> But boys, on a serious note, well done today. Next week we have to switch on from literally the first second because a better team beats us in the game like this. If we kill it in the first half, there's no such thing as them coming back in the second half. But yeah, boys, on to next week. Let's go. Okay, boys. Yeah, boys.